Merriest of the merry and happiest of the happy Sundays to you. Welcome back to Brews with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? Uh, it is uh, a Merry Nuggets Sunday as they're going to play the Suns uh, about 5 p.m. Pacific time today. Got the Celtics and Sixers uh, ahead of that. And, uh, you know, ending the uh, Wells Fargo uh, Championship. So going to participate in watching that. A uh, little, little golf action for it. But this beer in front of me uh, should get center attention. Let me turn it back to that. I uh, just looked up a little information on them. Anagrin Brewing Company from Moore Park, California. Literally about just about 40 minutes from us. Uh, I can't believe I haven't already been there. I've heard about their lagers. I uh, just watched a video just kind of outlining what they're about. Uh, Chris and Matt Anagrin are brothers along with their uh, other brewer, uh, Joe Nesensky. I think that's how you say it. But they focused on German-style beers, especially lagers. Uh, I saw a little something where their distributors wanted to push them uh, towards making IPAs, fruited IPAs, and they completely turned that down. They would not uh, abandon what the, what they're about. But in that in that essence, uh, this one right in front of you, I mean, this, the, the name alone is, is pretty awesome. Called the Big Meat, uh, 7.8 on the Richter. <laughs> Tap in. Uh... Let me give you a description. The Big Meat is a German-style smoked Doppelbach uh, brewed with rich German malts and a clean lager yeast. The majority of the malt is kilned with beech wood to impart a distinct smoky flavor, making this beer a perfect addition to a barbecue or charcuterie board. You betcha. Uh, traditional Bamberg-style Rauch beer brewed with beech wood smoked malt. In all caps, this beer is not for everyone. You probably can't handle the Big Meat. You betcha. Uh, but this is a traditional style of Doppelbach out of Bamberg, Germany. It is big, rich, very, very smoky. Perfect for a good barbecued bacon burger or steak, but be careful pairing this with smoked meats as you may get confused which is the beer and which is the meat. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, when I saw this, had to try it. Uh, love the percentage, too, that it's, you know, not too huge, but it's definitely not, it's not small. Uh, it's gonna, I'm looking forward to a lot of smoke on this, so... Thank you, Matt, Chris, and Joe for brewing this beer. Uh, I'm very curious about it. I'm going to have to check out more of your beers. Uh, I've been wanting to. And uh, hopefully everyone's having a great Sunday. Leave in the comments if you've had this. Uh, Matt, Chris, or Joe, if you're out there, you know, hit me up. You know, I'm going to have to do a tour of your brewery up there. Not too far, Studio City. But that's about it. Nugget Sunday. You betcha, Joker. Let's do this. Let's pour the big meat. Big meat. Rauk beer. All right, I ask on, on that note, the usual favor, will you please hit the like and subscribe button? Really appreciate you. It helps me out immensely, completely on the house and free. But that way we can sit down with the big meat or any other beer you want, any other time you want. All right, all right, all right. That didn't even make sense. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Now that is looking good. Clean, very, very amberish like. Um, dang, that's, that's looking nice. All right, see that? Boom. You can even see the 15 mile high city behind it. All right, let's get in for the aroma check. Ooh, that, that's got charcoal written all over it. Man, that's, uh, that's some smoked, smoked malts right there. Not just smoky, smoked. Smells literally like a barbecue, like someone's, you know, I'm going past, uh, you know, Handy Market, which, by the way, is where I got this. Uh, thank you, Mark. Handy Market and Burbank, check them out. Great beers. But you go past on the on the weekends with all their smoked, uh, you know, you know, ribs, chicken, all that on there. It's what, it's what this smells like right here. Mmm. All right. Mmm. Ribs. All right. No words. Just smoked. Smoky smoke. Let's, let's roll. Smoked Bach beer. Ooh, that is nice. That is nice. That is literally smoked barbecue meets beer. That That's awesome. That's literally like smoked bacon, some smoked, just meat. It's maybe the mo one of the most unique beers I've had. I mean, you kind of are getting like a little, 
like as if you can taste like a kind of a sweet kind of like a subtle sweet meat going along with the smoke um this is awesome i'm serious like if you if you like smoked barbecue and just that kind of thing and you're a beer person you got to find this that's that's a perfect perfect name for a very very delicious beer Again, as it says, lager, smoked Bach beer, but it's a lager. Um, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to see if there's anything else. I mean, like, because that's all I get. Like, I'll give you the mouthfeel and percentage, what it feels like. Feels pretty light. Like, I could see this being, like, I, I could see it just being a, I, I would probably guess, Ah, this is probably six percent, six and a half, but just being completely, I mean, just huge flavor because of all the all the stuff they've done they've done to it. Kiln with beech wood. Um as far as the uh mouthfeel. It still is pretty drinkable, but it does have that huge edge of, of smoke to it, rich smoke. Um I'd say like it's 30 out of 100, but it's still very drinkable. Goes down real nice. Real nice. Um, all right. Yeah. I'm going to see if there's anything else I can tell you about this without already saying it's pretty damn awesome so far. Uh, again, let me know what you're drinking. Tell me if you're drinking anything as good as this. Ribs with beer. Um, and then I'm going to grade it and get the hell out of here. Because uh, I got, I got, I got a, this is my pregame for the Nuggets game tonight. Suck it, Durant. By the way, I never do this. Shout out to the ladies out there that drink beer. Not every lady does drink beer. A lot of them are into seltzers, wine, but shout out to you ladies that are big beer drinkers. Boom. And by the way, so coming back from it, coming back from it. That's, I had my wife taste a little bit of this. She reminded me what meat this absolutely kind of go is the first thing you think about. Brisket. Brisket. Nothing, nothing better to me. Might be better than any meat out there. The bet, you know, when you have smoked, good, good brisket, and that's what this beer tastes like. She said she doesn't like to drink it, so that's interesting. But I think this is kind of amazing. Um, and I would, I wouldn't, you know, what I would do if I had to pair this with food, I would not pair it with barbecue. I would actually pair it like it says with a charcuterie board or something like that, because you already have enough of the like smoky notes from this. I would, that would. I think it would be all and too much. It's kind of like when you have a cigar. I don't necessarily want to do it with smoky scotch. I'd want to have like rum or something, something to kind of counter it. So char charcuterie board with some good cheeses would go with this phenomenally. Phenomenally. I might have to, re you know, make this a beer I bring to my buddy Mike with a charcuterie board. Anyway, I just wanted to say charcuterie board like five times. Sorry about that. Apologies. Hashtag charcuterie. Uh, all right, let's keep drinking. Hopefully you're having an amazing Sunday like I am. It's gone out with a bang. I'm definitely going back to get more of this. They better have more of this. By the way, I think I got this for $3.99 a can. This That's that's a steal. That's a steal. So I'm definitely going to go back and get more of this. Cheers. Let's, uh, let's rate this. And by the way, you actually do... Along with the smoke, you do still get the caramel from the malt of this beer. Uh, so it's it for me this this beer breaking the mold, breaking the charcuterie. Uh, all right, from Stellar down to Hell No, I'm actually it's not like at the tippy top, but I have to. This is for me that's Stellar. I've I haven't had a beer like this before. This is. I mean, for you smoky barbecue people, as I keep emphasizing, you got to try this. Um, I'd give it an I'd give it a ninety seven. The price, this is absolutely a, a steal. Anyway, Hennigan um, Brewing, I gotta I gotta go up there and maybe even meet the founders and uh, taste some of the beer in Moore Park. Moore Park, I think they even had a they made that a joke. Moore Park, but anyway, do me a favor. Uh, you know what? I'm going to slam this. My wife doesn't care. So, cheers. Hit the like and subscribe button, and cheers me. All right, let's go.
that mm, it, it, uh, certain sips of this maybe the perfect beer 99 if again if you're into smoky barbecue which mo you know i know most people aren't i get it you're, you know i'm joking most people most uh red-blooded americans as they like to say probably like smoky barbecue so try this uh leave in the comments again if you've had this or what you're drinking today on this nugget sunday it's been amazing on this re review like and subscribe we'll see you later go nuggets suck it to